Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to do a tutorial using the brand new Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Mostly because, or especially because, this is created by a Latina, founded, beautifully executed, <laughs> and it's here in my hands and I'm so excited. If you guys don't know, her Instagram is Gabby T M U A, and she's a makeup artist. She does a lot of makeup for um, the KL Polish campaigns, Kathleen Lights, their BFFs, and Gabby came out with her own makeup line, makeup brand. She dreamed it and here it is and I'm so excited to use it especially because she put her culture into it and I love that. So she's Cubana and this is called Alamar. Alamar is a place in Cuba so she really, I love that she incorporated that so that definitely I'm just like yes Latina power let's do it. You get eight eyeshadows and these are very colorful shadows. These are very just like wow this is so colorful. So somebody who is not used to color you might be like ooh this is intimidating and usually that would normally be me but this is not an intimidating colorful palette like I look at this and I'm like you can really get so many looks there's only eight shadows in here but I feel like that's just all you need kind of these are like the perfect she's like just hand-picked the perfect eyeshadow colors to go in this palette where you can get simple looks to really dramatic looks to colorful looks fun looks you can get so much with these shades best part is this is only $28. Mm-hmm. $28 for these colorful, beautiful eyeshadows. And they are so pigmented. The mattes blend out so beautifully. The shimmers, more like metallics maybe even. Oh my god. Swatches, like upon first swatches, like finger swatches. Like holy cow, I am so amazed. Blending it on the eye is a dream. I feel like I was barely kind of brushing my brush on my eyelid and oh the way it was like picking up the pigment and placing it on my eye I was like holy cow you can use max fix plus I usually do but you really don't need it these are so intense and and and, and I saw um Gabby kind of mention she was using the shade La Costa as a cheekbone highlight which is what I did look at that do you see that oh 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 Holy cow, I was so impressed, but it's not even like a chunky glittery like this looks great You can use it on your lid and it looks good like as a highlight for your cheekbone So you get that in there too as well. <laughs> I love the packaging I love how sleek how simple this looks like a little like librito you can kind of carry around with you So I just love how cute that is and then the also the little box packaging was so Adorable like there was just so much thought put into this little box this little packaging, but that takes a lot of work not everybody can come up with this and also I love the quality of the shadows I'm so excited to use this palette even more I just I'm so excited for what this brand has to bring for the next launches I'm definitely feeling myself I'm loving this look but it's already 10 30 at night so I was like no I don't want to wash my face <laughs> definitely gonna try to take a lot of pictures but I love how it came out if you guys want to recreate this definitely just keep on watching I'll show you step by step super easy don't forget to subscribe to keep up with some more videos, especially because you know I'm going to be playing with this palette some more. But definitely keep on watching to check out this tutorial. So we've already got my left eye done, so I'm going to work on my right eye, save some time. And I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Coco Taxi, and I'm going to go ahead with a fluffy brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk, very affordable fluffy brush. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore, but I'm just going to go ahead and take that and just very lightly... Like, honestly, this palette, I've just been, like, just very lightly adding colors and blending it in. And that pigmentation for those mattes is just so beautiful. I'm just using the lightest pressure. And I feel like I need to start doing this with, like, every eyeshadow palette. Because then you just get, like, more precise with it. Sometimes if you go a little bit too hard, it can be a little bit messy. So just something I'm just trying to remember to do is just light pressure, take your time, you can get really beautiful looks. So just back and forth windshield wiper motions and then kind of circular motions to kind of really get a nice base and buff this color in. I feel like you can get really versatile with that Coco Taxi depending on which kind of brush you're using. So I'm using a real fluffy brush so I can get like a nice diffuse light color but if I were to use a um, Sigma 
E25 or on Morphe 433 can really focus and concentrate that color and make it even more intense. So the next shade in the palette I'm going to take is Tropico and I'm going to take a Sigma E25, this little mini brush, and I'm going to put this color directly into my crease. Taking the color on the outer edge corner, bringing it in about like a third of the way in and just blending it in. And this color I'm putting like kind of directly into my socket so you can still kind of see that fade of the Coco Taxi shade. Just really quickly going in and blending the two shades together. Next I'm just taking a little bit of concealer and just kind of carving out my lid area. You don't have to do this but I just like to do this to like have an extra little base for whatever shade I'm putting on my lid and then that'll just help that color pop out more. You can use like a white base to really make it pop or a dark base if you want to darken up those colors. Um, but in case also, you know, if you want a bit, little bit lower with your crease shade than if you wanted to, you can always go ahead and do this and clean it up. You can get a nice little crispness. Next shade in the palette I'm going to take is Celia. I had to use this color. So definitely going to take that and just going to put that on my lid, kind of keeping the inner corner, um, not adding any color on there because we're going to add the next shade on there just to kind of give it a nice little transition. And this is without any Fix Plus, anything on the brush, like on its own, this, sh this shimmer shades, like almost like metallic shades, they, oh, mm, gorgeous. They swatch nicely and they just, you know, this is just one swipe of the shade. Like, I don't even have to dig back in. Like, that's pretty good on its own. Gorgeous. You can still keep going and bringing it in. I'm just going to flip that brush over and I'm going to take this shade right here, El Malecón. And I'm just going to put that right in the inner part of my eye and just kind of blend that into the Celia shade. I feel like I'm barely touching my eye. <laughs> And this shade is just so intense. Like, I'm barely tapping it. It's beautiful. Oh, I just want to put it everywhere. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you want really nice, pigmented, colorful, shimmer shade, you're going to love this palette. Ooh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Just so you guys can see with some Max Fix Plus, because if you want these to get even better, if that's possible, you can totally do that. <laughs> And just add a little bit of Max Fix Plus, add a little bit of intensity, and it's, it's a whole nother level of crazy. Just getting a nice blend when to become one of oh, these two shades. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, love it. Mm -hmm. Guantanamera. So then we're going to take the shade Guantanamera. Had to use this one too. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love these brushes. So I'm just going to take this flat side just so I can get that precise placement. I'm just going to put this in the outer corner of my eye just to blend that in with Celia. Just add a little bit of intensity. And I just kind of wanted a little bit of red. I really wanted to play with color. And this is the perfect palette to play with color. You can go ahead and turn that around and blend that in. What I'll also do is take a little bit more of that Tropico and kind of just blend lightly with my lid shade, Celia and the El Malecón. Then finally, I'm just going to take a little bit of Cafecito just to kind of intensify just a little bit more. You don't have to use, you can leave it as is with Guantanamera, but... Just, you know, I want to use as many colors as possible, but these mattes blend so beautifully. These shimmers blend beautifully. I'm so impressed. I think this palette was like $28 or something. It was no more than $30, and they are fantastic. What? I already pre-prepped my brows with the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. We'll do final touches at the end. But I primed my face using the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Primer. If you're over this, I don't care. It's my favorite one. If you have dry skin, you have to try it. It's great. Now, I'm going to use for the first time. This is the new Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. It's like they're phasing out the Dream Satin Mousse. I'll definitely be doing a full-on review. I picked the two colors because I wasn't sure what I was going to be. So I'm actually using it for the first time today. Ooh, and they have like a lock unlock feature. Okay. Okay, how do we unlock this? Oh, there we go. 
Then I'm just going to blend that out with my Morphe sponge. Did I? I think I'm getting tanner. <laughs> For my concealer, I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This one is in the shade C4. I also have one C5, but since this foundation is a little bit lighter, we're going to go in with the lighter concealer. We'll see if that oxidizes. To set my concealer, I'm going to take my LA Colors Contour Palette. I think this is the light shade. should say it's somewhere on here. Yeah, light medium. And I'm going to take this shade right here since, you know, I am using my lighter concealer. But I will be playing around with the yellow shade. I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes just to set my concealer before it starts creasing. Because that's just how my eyes do. Way is gonna smoke out the uh, lash line, so I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Black Eyeliner. Just add that to my lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in and take that shade Tropico, and just with my fluffy brush, just go underneath, just kind of blend that out. Then I'm going to go into the shade Guantanamera and I'm just going to go back in with that Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm just going to place that underneath my lower lash line. Then lastly, I'm just going to take a little bit of that cafecito shade on a flat definer brush and I'm just going to place that just to define the lower lash line. To set my face, I'm going to take my Galactic Luminous Face Powder and a Duo Fiber Brush. And just lightly dust. You could probably just maybe even not do a wing, just line it, but I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner. So I'm going to take, oh, my pizza's ready. Hold up, brief intermission. We're going to be back. I'm going to have some pizza and I'll be right back. Back from my pizza break, <laughs> I put on my NYX Matte Liquid Liner to do a wing line, and then I added my Salon Perfect 614 lashes. Now to finish off the rest of my face, I'm going to take the LA Colors Contour Palette and go back into this. I'll be doing a full review. This is also my first time using this palette. Picked up so many drugstore products. Let's see. I'm just going to go in and bronze with this one and then I'll go in and deepen a little bit with this one because this one seems a little bit very light and might look ashy so let's bronze up around the face first I'm just gonna go in with that shade I use under my eye and just carve out a little bit, clean that up. In case we brought it down a little too low. Same brush, I'm just gonna clean it off and then we're gonna go into the deeper shade and just define those cheekbones even more. You could just blend that out with that same brush. Since we have a little bit of orange on the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take my Flower Beauty Flower Pots Blush in the shade Peach Prim Rose, just to kind of tie it in with the eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. 
So for my highlight, I'm going to go back into the palette and take the shade La Costa. I saw this being used as a highlight, so we're going to check it out. But definitely, I will be doing a tutorial using it as an eyeshadow. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh. If you want to beam, holy! Oh my God, look at that! Oh my God, that's just a little bit. Holy cow! Ooh, that is nice, and it's not like chunky glitter or anything. Holy! Oh my God, I love it! Oh, oh look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh, oh! Gotcha! Gotcha! Okay, I gotta stop. Oh my God! Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Hardest part, which lipstick to wear? Something with orangey tones? <sighs> Let me think about it. For my lip liner, I'm going to take my Paladio Spice Lip Liner and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. You can totally skip this step, but I like a little definition. Then for my lipstick, I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Velvety Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Pinky Nude. To top it off, I'm going to take my Milani Amore Matte Lip Shine in the shade Delight. It kind of gives it like that, that metallic -y kind of glossiness, kind of ties in with the eyeshadow look. The highlight And that is a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am in love with this look. Normally, I steer clear of blues. I'm a little bit afraid, but I was so excited to play with these colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have been wanting to wear blue eyeshadows, but you've been really afraid of it, this is a good way to kind of get in with the blues, get some pops of color in there, but still kind of transitioning into it. So by using the shade Celia, which is kind of more like that sea blue, and then mixing it in with El Malecon, kind of having it like transition into it, just kind of, you still kind of get that gold and then you transition, you fade into that blue. So you get, you know, best of both worlds, but it's still really pretty, really fun, very wearable look. Like I would totally wear this out, you know, going out, hell, I'll wear this to the library, I'll wear this to the grocery store. That's just me though, but... <laughs> I really love how this came out. I love this palette so much. If you guys have not picked it up, hopefully they still have it in stock so you guys can get it. If not, hopefully they'll be restocking soon. I know that they did also come out with some brushes, so if you guys were interested, you should totally check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you want to see some more fun looks with this palette. I'll definitely, I'm so excited to play with it a little bit more, do like some easy looks, some more colorful, really get into that blue. So if you guys want to see some more of that, then definitely, you know, make sure to stay tuned and check out my next video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited to do a tutorial using the new Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette. I have not been excited for an eyeshadow palette in a while like this. Like I just had to have it because it was created by a Latina. She is a makeup artist and her, I put her Instagram handle down below, Gabby T M U A. If you've heard of her, she does a lot of makeup for Kathleen Light's KO Polish, all those campaigns that they kind of do for there. And they're also like BFFs. But she came out with her own makeup line and I just love that she, you know, really put her culture into it 